All right, guys, well, we do have some more things coming out about September 11th, this mainly in relation to a trial and a subsequent plea deal that was done. A lot of people are up in arms about it. They're not happy, but I'm going to talk about how does this affect potential videos that we haven't been able to see. We really don't even know if they exist, but a few weeks ago or maybe like a week and a half ago, we got that brand new video that was like Super HD that just randomly got released onto YouTube by, I believe, the person that filmed it that showed kind of a different angle of the towers coming down. Now, that is unrelated to this and potential other videos being released, but you can see the accused main plotter of 9-11 agrees to a plea deal, agrees to plead guilty... And there's a big story with Muhammad, the person that has pled guilty, possibly talking about a few different plots in the United States. He's thought to be the mastermind, the main guy that went to bin Laden to say, this is what we should do. And there was a few other things. And then, and then supposedly bin Laden picks that one. But the reason this is big news is because whenever people would try and do the Freedom of Information Act requests, they would always get denied. And the reason they would get denied was because of ongoing investigations. And they would normally reference this case in specific well, now that there's been an agreement in terms of pleading guilty, and apparently they said that the United States did not have enough evidence, so that's why they did this instead of trying to get the death penalty, which obviously is ridiculous, but I don't know the full story. So, you know, people are going to be mad, of course, considering what uh, Mohammed is accused of. But the overall point I'm trying to make is this could allow more videos to be released. I'm not saying it's a guarantee because the government can really do whatever they want. They can just make up something else and say, oh, we're still not going to release the videos because even if there are videos, we don't know if there are actual videos now. I think we can hypothesize there probably are. Let's be honest. Like, what is What are the odds that all of the videos that they've probably hoarded have come out? It's, it's probably basically zero. So I'm sure they have stuff. When it comes to things that I would want to see, we do know, and I did do another video on this talking about security cameras surrounding the Twin Towers that probably were completely destroyed, but maybe other potential video within the Twin Towers in the surrounding area, that has all been Freedom of Information Act requested, and whenever people would do that, they would say there's ongoing court cases, they cannot release them right now. And obviously that in and of itself is pretty dumb considering they really wouldn't affect the trial just seeing new footage, new vantage points of possibly the Twin Towers falling, which is just very interesting to a lot of people when it comes to this crazy, crazy, horrible event in U.S. history. So I just wanted to make this video talking about it considering September 11th is in the news and we are coming up on another anniversary here in about a month and 10 days. It'll be interesting to see if they do release more videos. It wouldn't surprise me at all if people did try and get more videos and the government just says, oh, there's some other reason we're not going to do it. I think a lot of this has to do with the timing currently. I know it's been over two decades, but still, when you compare that to like the Titanic, for example, when they made that movie, that was almost like a century later. You know, you're talking about it happening in 1912 and then they made the movie in 97. When it comes to the Twin Towers, that's still fresh maybe in the 2030s, maybe in the 2040s. I know that's going to bum a lot of people out. It's probably going to be very boring and people will just start seeing leaks of potential new videos, things like that. Trump came out like a few months ago and said if he becomes president, he's going to declassify a bunch of the documents talking about possibly linking Saudi Arabia to September 11th, maybe funding this at least in part. I think most people agree that's probably what happened. So I don't know if that's going to be a big revelation. I would be more so interested in potential just everything about the Twin Towers from, you know, just all the information, the blueprints, everything. And then also potential, you know, videos and renderings on why they collapsed. I'm sure the government has a bunch of those that haven't been released on like the stress points within the Twin Towers. And it would be cool to see all of that. But uh, they're in no obligation to release that. And even if you do do the request to try and get more video, if it actually works, that would be crazy. But more than likely, it will decline. Honestly, when it comes to extra video, a lot of this is probably not hoarded, but most of this, I'm guessing the government doesn't even know it exists. It's probably mainly people that took videos and then either forgot about it or it's just lost media at this point. We know there is some pretty, pretty big lost media surrounding September 11th that would be very interesting if it does end up getting found. I'm not saying the, 
you know, the fact that this is resolved as, oh, now it's going to be released. But I'm just saying that was a main reason why pe they would deny all of the video and a lot of the details surrounding this event because there were ongoing cases. They could always say, oh, there's another ongoing case or something like that. But they would specifically say this case was the reason why they could not release a lot of the video and a lot of the details and of the documents surrounding September 11th. So maybe now that there's been an agreement to plead guilty in this case and, and possibly take a life sentence, we could potentially get more details on the Twin Towers and on the event as a whole. But that is just the update on what happened and maybe potentially getting more details because the case is now resolved. Possibly not just the video, but also just surrounding details about the Twin Towers. And another thing, if people are interested, when you see me with the face cam, you'll notice behind me, people ask in my chat, oh, is that a model of the Twin Towers? It's not a model. It is Lego. It's Chinese Lego, basically the exact same thing. You know, I acquired basically two North Towers and then just took the antenna off of the one, and that's how I was able to have the Twin Towers. But that those sets are both 2,000 pieces. And fully in, I probably paid $150 for them. That's with shipping. On AliExpress, you can normally get free shipping, but it's going to be a bit more than the Chinese websites that sell the knockoff Legos. But it's basically the exact same thing as, as Legos. Obviously, Lego, they're not going to sell a Twin Tower set. And if they do, it's not even going to be close to that, to that scale. I'm guessing the entire set, if they actually do sell one, probably going to be like 1,300 pieces. The, the one Twin Tower, I got two of them, it's 2,000. So it's a lot bigger and the scale of it's a lot better. And you just put them next to each other. So that's what I got. It was not a model. It was just I built two North Towers and took the antenna off of one. And that created, uh, you know, the South Tower and then the North Tower still with the antenna on it. So that's what that is. If people are wondering, it's not a model. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.